It's gonna be okay. Fuck out! My fucking hell, bitch! Fuck you! Fuck! Dad? Hey, excuse me. You gonna kill yourself? No. You gonna steal some shit? Yeah, I'm gonna steal the goddamn pool water. Why the hell is a community swimming pool need a security guard anyway? So kids don't break in and kill themselves or steal some shit. Yeah, well, you don't gotta worry about that. You must be having one shit a night if this is the best place you can find. Shit, a couple of years, but who's counting? If you grab some of them foam kickboards and towels over there, there's a really good place for you to sleep off whatever mess you're in. Keep your mitts off the pool chemicals and your ass on dry land. I don't need to be rescuing nobody in my good chinos, you hear me? Morning, coffee boy. Oh, don't worry, I got you a bowl, too. Oh, shit. Look at that. Must be my lucky day. No milk? Don't do moo juice. That's your tummy. You know, come from cow titties, right? Scared of titties? Lactose intolerant, motherfucker. So it hurts your tummy. So you come all this way to eat my fucking cereal? Why, because you miss your mom or some shit. Or should I say, my mama? Oh, God, swear to God. Morning, mama. 
Uh, I made your coffee for you the way you like. Uh, excuse me, but that alligator took a crap on my front lawn again, so just go clean that up, please. I swear to God, Reggie's special needs. You know, when he was a kid, we used to have to not take him to the beach no more because all he would do was eat sand. Just scoop after scoop, could hear crutching his teeth. Like, disgusting. Is that why he's got cold teeth? No. He just likes looking like an asshole. Oh, I put some clean towels in your room for you. And I put a couple in for your girl. Oh, um, she don't need none. She's. She's gone. You ever take me to the beach? <laughs> uh. What are you making? So I got my own candle business, and um, I sell them at swap meets. I got erotic and non-erotic scents. The, the same. They just got different names. I like this one. Yeah. Smells like a tree. Yes, this is the woodsy one. I love it. You got very good taste. You know, I I told Calvin that I need more space for my candles and whatever, and it's like, like a workspace, right? And he said, Oh no, I need that extra bedroom for, for my man cave. <laughs> he got a flat screen TV last year, still sitting on the floor. Man cave pulleys, right? More like a goddamn junk cave. You know, when you were a little baby, you wouldn't go to sleep unless I lit a candle in your room for you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I know this is gonna sound like some kind of, um, I don't know, excuse or something, but I think things turn out the way they're supposed to with you you know, with your father and me coming here. It's like, your daddy can be some kind of hellion. Just the boozing and the fighting. It's... So many neighbors would just like up and leave just because just have to live in the other guy too long. I kid you not, more than once, leaving furniture and TVs behind just to get away from the son of a bitch quicker. <laughs> oh, and he had the honor thing, the code. Or whatever, just right and wrong. Everything, just no grays, no middle, just everything. It's black and white, and, you know, had all these ideas about how they should live and, you know, how I should be and what I could be and what I should be. <laughs> yeah, a lot of rules, hard to live with. Hard to live with. You know, you don't gotta treat someone like shit and make them feel bad. Like Calvin, he can be like, you know, he could be like whatever, but he lets me be who I want to be, do what I want. Just as long as my ass don't get too big. Here, take that. Just keep it in your room or something. Maybe you'll sleep better. Look, Zellwood. I win, bitch. I didn't see any signs for Zellwood. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You just passed it up. I didn't see any signs. Yes, you did. I didn't see any signs. And if there was a sign, the GPS lady would have said it, and she didn't. You didn't hear it because there's no service. What's the plan anyway? <sighs> we get to Ocala. How the hell do we find Wayne? I'm sure there'll be a trail of blood. You gotta think positive. You know, I knew Wayne's mom back in the day. She kept her name when she married Wayne's dad. What was it? She was off. I mean, she was she was really just kind of scattered. Great legs, though. Please don't tell me you're trying to hit Wayne's mom. All right, don't worry. She's not my type. Then what type is your type? I only date, or better, want to date black women. <laughs> For real? You never dated a white woman before? Oh, no, thank you. Is that racist? I think. But it's a good racist, right? 
I gotta remember what her name was. What was her name? Her last name was something Irish. McGinnis Mc... Oh, watch out for the dog! <laughs> Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Oh, no. Oh. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's cool. You don't have to worry about me. I'm good. Damn it, dead! Guess your airbags don't work, huh? What the fuck you doing? Anyone ask you to do that? No. But she asked you to. And you didn't, so. You see what that fucking kid did? That alligator shit on the neighbor's lawn again? No. Huh. The other fucking kid. Not what? He hung up some shelves for your fucking candle crap <laughs> in my fucking TV room. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's kind of, it's kind of sweet, huh? In my fucking TV room, Maureen. You want me to ask him to hang the TV? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Don't you fuck with me, Mom. I was just playing with you, Calvin Christ. Okay, well, he needs to go. Come on, Cal... Come on. He just got here. And what, you gonna fucking take care of the kid, Maureen? I was young then. Things could be different now. You're gonna be a good little fucking mommy now. Bring him into the fucking house, move him into my fucking TV room. I'm sorry, but uh, regardless of how inconvenient this might be for you, he's still my fucking kid. I pay the bills. Your part-time candle wick fucking bullshit ain't enough to support you or him. So you got two fucking choices. Get him the fuck out of here, you get the fuck out of here with him. I'm goddamn cursed. <laughs> I'm on a mission to save Wayne. Somebody should be saving him from me. Remember that scene in Terminator 2 where all our innocent kids are on the playground? And then this nuclear bomb detonates into a, a wave of hellfire and just scorches everyone and everything into ash and skeletons. I'm the nuclear bomb, Terminator 2. I got nothing left. Hey, you got AAA? No. It expired a long time ago. Was that you? Huh? That wasn't you? No, man. Here, doggy, doggy, doggy. Go. All these friends. You're skeeving out the moms. The only thing worse than an angry white woman is an angry white woman with a baby. I ain't losing my job over this. Come on now, be cool. I don't want to have to escort you from the premises. Don't fucking touch me! Oh, you gotta go now. Wait till I 
catch you. But there always is a... I heard all this pounded, and I thought Reggie locked himself in the bathroom again. Glad to see that somebody's actually doing some work around here. What? Just trying to do my part. Come on, this li this actually looks really good. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. So tomorrow's the uh, third Thursday of the month, and I got this big swap meet in Tampa that I gotta get ready for. So. I can help you with it. Oh, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. You've done enough, you've done so much around here. Uh, it's just I gotta separate the erotic from the non-erotic. What does nipples smell like? It smells like peach. You know, they're, they're just peach. Yeah, I just, um, I gotta find my ribbons, you know, okay? And I gotta start loading up the car, and so, you know. Are you mad? That I unpack the candle stuff? No, no, I'm not mad. It's gotta, you know, it's just gotta, it's gotta get moving is all. Well, when are you coming back? Yeah, um, so that's the thing. When I go, you gotta go too. Did you? You thought you was gonna like stay here, stay here? Okay, yeah, I mean, if it was my house, of course, sure. But, you know, it's Calvin's, so I don't really have that kind of a say. Plus, uh, I think you don't, don't really wanna stay here, right? Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't make the decisions, honey. Okay, sweetie, I don't make those decisions. You shouldn't call me that no more. Maybe you should have gone after that girl, huh? What do you care? You didn't even like her. She'll be best friends, though. See, now you've all, like, taken off on everybody. I've thought a lot about what would have happened, okay? Things have been different. But your dad never came after me. Maybe because he didn't ever care. Red hander. I'm telling you, this is a sign. Yeah, a sign you can't drive. We're gonna find Wayne. I can feel it. I don't know if you've noticed Orlando, but I have a tendency to see, you know, see things in a generally hopeless and dreadful, cup half full of shit type of way. But gone are the days of my bread falling butted side down. I feel like we're actually driving towards something. Driving towards what? Cold, what up? You know what I'm saying, moving towards something. I think the dog feels it too, ain't you, boy? What are you gonna name it? 
You gonna start with an A like all other ones? Nah, I think I'm gonna try something different this time. I like food names. Muffin, donut, McNugget. My brother's cat name is Fajita. McNulty! That's Wayne's mom's name, Maureen McNulty. How could I forget that? Maureen McNulty. Maureen McNulty. Ocala, Florida. We gotta find a phone book. What's a phone book? Seriously? It's the thing you use to find people. What do you mean, this? I already got her address. And her Etsy. Apparently she make sexy candles or some shit. Oh, man. We're gonna find you, Maureen. $25. For what? Departure change fee. I don't fucking have 25 bucks. Neither do I. Sucks, doesn't it? Next. I can call a lift right now, but I doubt that they're gonna let that flea infested dog in the car. Well, if they don't, I'll just tell them it's my emotional support animal. If they still don't, I'll just fucking sue them for discrimination. All right? They can't, you know, start. Del Lucetti? <laughs> okay, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Wait. You're my fucking principal. Yes, I am. That's fucking weird. sick I am I'm hearing stories about your fucking dad your mama she starts sucking on that box of wine and all of a sudden it's the fucking legend of Wayne McCullough hour what the fuck do I have to be jealous of hmm she's up here giving me that ass and he's well you know he ain't lying. Our rooms are right next to each other. <laughs> All fucking night. But if you think I need any more reminders of that piece of shit coming around here, fucking with my fucking TV room! Trying to jack my fucking rod? Boy. Oh, yeah. Stop fucking moving. Let's see how this fucking smells. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck still. <laughs> what the? What the fuck is that? This whole country's going to shit. Don't go nowhere. Whatever shit you're selling, I don't need it. I already got it. Sergeant Geller, Brockton, Mass Police Department. You're a long way from your shithole. Must be Calvin Clay. Two counts of felony vandalism to an RV. Three counts of aggravated assault. Several counts of public urination, one at a yogurt shop. They said my coupon was expiring, so fuck them. We're looking for a boy named Wayne McCullough. Son of Maureen McCullough. Your girlfriend. She's the registered owner of a 1979 gold Trans Am. That one? No, it's fucking with you, Wayne McCullough. I know that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's hanging around here somewhere. Oh, fuck. Ready? Adios, motherfucker. Mm. After you. Get your boys on a car with a bigger trunk.
Thanks for the shirt. All good. I can't do this anymore. Oh, the dog will eat the leftovers. I have the dog out, you know? I'm not talking about that. I want to go home. Well, it's a free country, but I got to save my boy. And what? Bring him back to Brockton? There's nothing there for him. Well, yes, there is. I mean, sure, he got kicked out of school and his house burned down and his dad is dead. Burned up in the house that he burnt down. But he's got us. Yes, he does. He wants to be with his mom. Look, Wayne's in danger. The pops is all hopped up on vengeance and some crazy bass swinging brothers of yours, well. Don't worry. As long as Wayne's with his mom, nobody's fucking with him. The place is like a white trash fortress of meth heads and crocodiles. Nobody's getting in there. He doesn't need us. Any of us. Can you just take me home? Please. Certain you want to do this, huh? Yeah, I want to do this. Well, if we're really going to do this, no need to sully our Tommy Bahamas. I fucking regret this, man. Regret's a funny thing, isn't it? <laughs> you know, in the summer of 93, I taught English overseas in Thailand, a place where I would unexpectedly fall in love. His name was Anaruk. It was a deep love, the likes of which I have never again experienced. <laughs> Unfortunately, that love will be taken for granted as he set me up for a crime I did not commit. A crime that cost me 817 days on Satan's pillow. A brutal Thai prison. <laughs> Look, man, you had some queer experience in another country. Big fucking deal. I did time, too. Lucky for you. Not the kind I did. survive the horrors and the ultra-violence of a murder hole like Klong Prem. You had to fight. Oftentimes to the death. It was there that I learned my mantra. To regret deeply is to live afresh. The row. So unless you've had a change of heart, son, let's begin the unfortunates. I got this. All right. Well, this is good. We're doing the right thing. Wayne found his mom. We found you. I found this little fuzzball. We're all very lucky. You know what? I'm going to call you Lucky. Huh? I'm going to call you Lucky. Yeah, well, lucky looks like he's got to lift his leg or something. So I'm going to go pay this bill. Come on, buddy. Come on, Lucky. Jerry's still out on whether or not it's gonna be lucky for lucky. It's, he kills dogs. It, it's a whole thing. What's wrong? I wasn't thinking about him. Shut up. Sound like you are. How'd you guys meet? Wait. Saw him some cookies. Oh. So your cookies. Why'd you come all the way to this shithole? Didn't think Wayne had any friends. Oh, me and Wayne go way back. I pissed off some dudes who were gonna break my arms, but being a plan hatchet motherfucker, I had the craziest dude in town to watch my back. Shortly after that, he came to me to return a favor. You know how to do computers? Wayne is just like a caveman when it comes down to anything electronic, man. It's like insane, old man. Right? 
Anyways, let me tell you the story. Wayne found this kid who was being blackmailed with a video, so he came to me. We found the guy pretty quick. Went through all this shit to make sure the video was deleted for good. It's going from the cloud, all his phones, laptops, everything. Should be good to go. Some girl's mother was trying to put a shoe on, falling down, it's all fucked up. She was high, drunk, cracked out. Pretty sad shit, really. 20 bucks a week, bitch. Your mom goes viral. Come on, pay up. Holy shit. You blackmail and cookies? Damn. Wayne's been looking after you for like years. <laughs> My boy Wayne. What did you do? I didn't do shit. Give you a second chance. You won't get a third. You're under arrest. Are you kidding me? Where the fuck is he? You know the son you abandoned? He got arrested. He's at the police station. Florida police have agreed to transport you back to Brockton if you'll cooperate. There ain't none there for me no more. I'd like to get my 1979 Trans Am. Lethal is now an impound evidence. Uh, it's being shipped back to Brockton, Massachusetts. Go ahead, little bitch ah. cat. Oh, whoa, 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 man. Those animals they ain't trained. People can get hurt. Tell her you gotta push. How? I, I don't know how to speak, dog. What's happening? Let's do this, bitch! <laughs> 